What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Now, today we finally gonna get into the men's and women's semifinals of the 2022 Outdoor World Championships. Some of them are very special. Actually, hell, if anything, all of them were very special because the semifinals, in my opinion, are a whole lot tougher than the final when you actually qualify because now the pressure is on you. You out the first round. And now the real challenge is the semifinals because now you've worked so hard for so long to make it this far. And now one round is away. One, you one round away from getting to the finals of the of whatever race you're trying to qualify in. And especially the hundreds, so fast, so quick. And you know, just one little mistake can prevent you from getting to the finals. So we about to check both the men and women out. So let's get started on them. All right, this first round he features Trayvon Bermel and uh, Johan Blake, second fastest man of all time. Now we got, um, we also got some beanie up in this race as well. So, you know, we got three really good athletes who are incredible in the 100 meters, but Bermel, in my personal opinion, is a favorite to get through. So let's check him out, see who gets through on to the final. All right. Bermel get the start, as he always gets. Him and Sabini pull away from the field. Johan Blake, unfortunately, does not qualify. Now, people were asking uh, what, what was going on with Trayvon Bermel as he uh, was kind of like, didn't run entirely too well heading towards the finish line. But he said he was okay uh, afterwards and he was ready to go for the final the next, uh, the next few hours. So he was good. So on to the next semifinal we go. And now the defending world champion himself, Christian Coleman, is in this heat. And this is a stacked field. You got Subin Chan, Fred Curley, Coleman, Zarnell Hughes, Andre DeGrass, Akeem Blake. Like, man, oh, man, this is a hard semifinal to get through. Like, it's, like, semifinals like this can make you nervous to get through the next round. But let's see who holds their composure and gets through the next round. Coleman and Curley are my personal favorites to get through. All right, Coleman explodes out the blocks as expected. Curly's right next to him. And those two are away on to the final. It's unfortunate Andre DeGrasse didn't make it through because he's one of my favorite athletes today still competing. But, you know, it's unfortunate for him. I hope he didn't suffer no injury or anything like that. But still, Coleman and Curly did their job. And off to this next and final semifinal final we will look at. Here we go. All right, so we got Marvin Bracey and Oblique Seville in this heat. Those two, in my opinion, should get through pretty comfortably, so let's check them out. All right, Bracey is out the blocks as expected. Oblique Seville is right there with him and kind of surpasses him a little bit, almost kind of, but still at the same time. Oblique Seville and Marvin Bracey qualify as we all expected them to. So all the Americans made it through the final. There's four Americans. That gives the chance for America to possibly go one, two, three. So that has not been done since. That's only been done twice on two occasions. One in 1983 when Carl Lewis led the way and that one. And Calvin Smith was also in that race. I can't forget who the second uh, place finisher was I think Calvin Smith was third if I'm right, if I'm right and you also had um, Carl Lewis in 1991 at the world championships was Leor Burrell and I unfortunately cannot remember the other name in that race as well but Carl Lewis broke the world record in that race but still that the men also have a huge chance to make history in that uh in this upcoming final now we off to the women's semifinals which was just as spectacular as the men so we're going to check the we're going to check them out so hope y'all enjoy them <laughs> 